Hey everyone, it is Wednesday, November 23rd, 2016, and it's time to go to work on music. So today is basically just going to be a continuation of yesterday. Going to hit my online classes hard, going to do some guitar work, take a break, and then get back to work on the live show. I'm sketching out the whole arrangement from start to finish using the PA and the monitoring setup, and then also... Um, I'm going to uh, hit a cover tune starting today, and basically my goal by the end of this week is to be able to have the entire show, six songs-ish, uh, sketched out start to finish, and what I mean by that is like, maybe, I, maybe I'm not playing it 100% perfectly, or the arrangements aren't 100% set in stone, or the sounds or anything, but I can kind of like make it through the show start to finish, um, as sort of like a, I don't know, I think a sketch is the best analogy, it's not like a finished piece, you know, it's just like a framework. Um, and part of the reason for that is, you know, I feel I'll be able to fill in the gaps and polish things a little better if I have an understanding of the big picture. And second of all, um, I want to make sure that I'm practicing how I'm actually going to play it, like I'm really polishing it using the, the amplified sound system that it's actually going to be played on, using the monitoring system I'm actually going to use so that when I get to the performance I'm 100% comfortable and it's just another day at the office, you know, business as usual. So. That's the goal today. Let's get to it. All right, that's plenty of that for today. <laughs> um, so what I was just doing was um, going through some of the supplemental, more of the supplemental resources from the learning resources. So I'm trying to balance this camera on my knee. I don't know if it's gonna work. Oh, I think I got it. Uh, some of the, sorry, the, it's probably shaking really badly. Um, some of the supplemental resources from the learning how to learn class that I finished recently and Man, there's a lot of good stuff in there. Um, I just read an article about how curiosity enhances learning, which is obvious, but there was a research study that showed that curiosity not only enhanced learning the thing you were curious about, but also enhanced learning things that you were not curious about that might have been boring or irrelevant. So that is definitely interesting. Um, and then the next article I got into is like deep, like really deep. It's talking about how in our modern culture, at least in America, um, we praise specialization because um, division of labor is like one of the biggest drivers of, of capitalistic society, which is true. Um, but they're talking about how <laughs> nothing dulls the mind more or like makes work crappy, <laughs> um, like meaning producing crappy results than like just being completely focused on one thing mentally with no physical involvement, which definitely describes a lot of jobs these days uh, that are computer-based, which is kind of messed up. Um, so that was really interesting, and then the author's moving on to make these points about how it's totally possible to learn new things, even into late age, um, even though our, our society tends to have a bias toward learning things when we're younger, or just learning what we're naturally good at. Um, and there is some basis for learning when you're younger, like, there's so much, like, your brain is just more open to learning when you're younger, but... They're also talking about how there's plenty of learning that can occur, and you can stimulate the, the factors that affect learning in your brain late, late, late into your life, maybe even 90s, they're saying, or beyond. Um, so that's just really interesting, and I find that myself, you know, coming into music as wanting and wanting to be a specialist, like, at a later age, like, I didn't really get super, super into playing music until I was about 17. And even then, it was sort of fits and starts for a couple of years before I really dove deep into it, uh, which is pretty late um, for, at least by professional standards, traditionally. So, you know, I have some insecurities about that, which is fine, and I've tried to make up for lost time over the last few years of just trying to be as dedicated as possible and really spending a lot of time learning, and I'm slowly making, making up that ground. 
Uh, but what I'm also realizing is, you know, it's great to pick away at things over time, but for some skill-based things, it's like immersion can be really, really helpful. And I've been talking about that a lot recently because I've been spending a lot more time doing music, like full days just in the lab, like today. I'll be working for like eight hours. And it's just a different zone, you know, you just get into a different zone, a different state of mind, and when you don't have a lot of other stressors in your life pulling at your attention, um, you know, that can be really helpful. I mean, there's limits to that because variety, of course, increases learning, variety of environments, variety of activities, switching back and forth between different things, so I'm thinking about that a lot. It's just like a lot to take in, but um, the last point the author is making is, uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to remember it. Oh, anyway, what I was saying is, like, it's very encouraging because, you know, you see how, even if you're not naturally good at something, you can still conquer it, but also how, oh, one of the big points, this is what I was going to say, is that um, innovation in almost every field often comes as the result of synthesizing ideas from other fields. So it's not pure specialization that gives rise to synthesis of ideas and... Um, innovation of ideas traditionally it's it's more interdisciplinary study and i've thought about that a lot from my own for my own self because i was an engineering student in college for a couple of years and i just felt a little constrained by the specialization of engineering school which is obviously really valuable and really important but at the same time like as a young person you're like wait don't put me in a box at least i was um and now, you know, I still am interested in all that stuff, computer science, technology, that I was studying when I was in school. I just didn't want to, like, devote my entire life to that 100% necessarily at that moment. So I'm, I'm looking forward to a time in my life where I feel uh, really inspired and also feel that I want to create the bandwidth to really do that. That's something I really want to get back to. But for now, I've realized, like, focusing on music is fine, and I can just do that, go deep on that front for a while, and then I can pull back and... I can do whatever I want, you know, it's it's really hard to fight the limit, limiting beliefs of society and sometimes yourself, but I think it's really important because I think we all have so much more capacity than we give ourselves credit for, and it's fun to take advantage of that, so I was just making a list of some of the cool things I want to learn, stimulate my um, learning centers in my brain and keep them fresh, so that was kind of a long talk, sorry, but... Uh, I got excited. <laughs> so I'm going to jump into my music business class now. Alright, it's been way longer on that than planned. <laughs> but, uh, man, genre and music research is just a deep, deep thing. And uh, I think I should just keep taking it a little bit at a time. A little, little, little bits at a time. Because, man, it's just consuming when you get into the, the internet and just get sucked in. It's crazy. That was just like an hour like that. It felt like about five minutes. <laughs> so uh, let's get into some guitar work here. Okay, took a good break. It was definitely warranted. Feeling a little down. Um, just got a lot going on in life. You know, it's the day before Thanksgiving, holidays, family stuff coming up. Got other people's family stuff coming up in my life. I don't want to go into too much detail, but just a lot of stuff coming up. And it's hard. You know, it's. It's hard to stay focused, and I always like to think of music as a place where I can really express 
what I'm feeling and I'm really trying to get better at just taking whatever I'm feeling and just injecting it into whatever music or whatever moment I'm having. And I'm going to try to do that with this session right now and just really take some of this stuff that's, that's stacking up inside and just see if I can put it out in the music. You know, it's a good exercise. And it's funny because I, I think now that I'm saying it, I think about songs as um, like a specific moment or a specific emotion that's captured, or maybe it's a combination of emotions. It's like a snapshot, like a Polaroid, a photograph. And maybe that's not the best way to think about them because photographs are like these sort of immutable things. I mean, not really. I guess you can manipulate a photograph. But maybe that's the best way to think about it. It's like you're taking a photograph and you're putting a filter on it, like an Instagram post or something. That's like a perfect analogy, I think, for what I'm trying to do. It's like, okay, here's this photograph of the subject, and the subject is like the original intent of the song, but then I can sort of paint over that with whatever I'm feeling in the moment. And now that I think about it, you know, I think that's... That's really the way that I want to start thinking about this stuff going forward. So, moment of revelation on camera right there. Gotta love it. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm feeling feeling 90 percent, maybe 89 <laughs> percent. Um, but we're gonna kill this because I'm just not gonna have it any other way right now. And um, yeah, there's just been too many distractions recently. Too many things pulling attention and energy away from the work that just, I just want to get it done, man. And um, let's just get it done. Here we go. just want to stop and say real quick, um, so I'm, I'm warmed up, I'm about to get into the set here, and it should be good, I'm, I'm a little short on time, unfortunately, but, you know, I tried that out, sort of like bringing some of the negativity of the current situation into the music space, and I don't know if that's the right move, now that I've done it and thought about it, I think actually, you know, this is a workspace, this is a space where everything else in life just gets turned off for a while and it's really just about focusing on improvement and about making something great and beautiful and if that involves a lot of emotion then that's great and if it involves not doing that and focusing on technique and the purely um, technical elements then that's what it is and it's a hard thing I, I'll keep exploring it and I'll let you guys know what I decide about that but I think for tonight I need to turn that stuff off and just go to work and just get stuff done. So that's what I'm about to do. It's going to be a great next hour. I'm going to finish strong here and um, make sure it's a good day overall. Overall good session. Um, just realized now it would have been good to spend a little bit more time going through the show stuff and that that is still the priority. I've been investing the last couple days a lot more time in the online class front, which has been great, but I do think it's time to dial that back and I'll pick the pace up with that when the show's done. Um, for now, for the next few weeks, I just want to lock in, knock this thing out, get it super duper comfortable so that I can come back to it maybe, you know, once a week, a couple times a week. 
over the next few months and then just kill it um, early next year whenever the show ends up happening. Um, so yeah, overall good progress. You know, that song I was just working on, the arrangement's getting tighter, definitely making some good mistakes, um, you know, experimenting with things, figuring out what's going to work, what isn't going to work, and just letting the song evolve in a natural way, which I'm, I'm happy about. You know, that hasn't always been something I've had the luxury of doing, and I'm really enjoying it. So, um, major takeaway from the lesson today, I think, is just what I said about time management, making sure I have a good plan going into the session. Probably going to take tomorrow off, Thanksgiving, so I'm just going to try to relax and um, leave myself plenty of bandwidth to deal with whatever comes up. Hopefully it's a really good holiday, and I'll see you guys in two days for more of the music grind. Until then, guys, hope you're all doing well, and happy holidays.